In this video, we become familiar with Boolean identities and De Morgan's law to manipulate and simplify Boolean expressions. Boolean expressions describe electric circuits in computer systems and selection statements in programming. We can use logic gates to illustrate these electric circuits. It's important to use as few expressions or gates electronics components as possible to reduce the size of the circuit, reduce the cost of manufacturing the circuit, reduce the power consumption of the circuit, and therefore execute instructions as quickly as possible by reducing the need to fetch variables from memory. Different techniques and methods can be used to help us simplify Boolean expressions. One method uses what we call Carnu maps, a diagrammatic grid system. However, these are not covered in the AQA specification. It's also possible to simplify expressions by applying rules of simplification and via the use of Boolean identities. We'll be going through the eight basic Boolean identities that the exam board wants you to know about, shown in green. We'll also cover De Morgan's law, shown in blue. In the Beyond the Specification section, we'll go over five additional simplification rules shown in yellow. Although these rules are not listed in the specification, knowledge of them will help you grasp many concepts across the topic of Boolean algebra. Let's start by going over the eight basic Boolean identities. These can be broken down into two categories, the AND identity rules, and the OR identity rules. So these general rules or Boolean identities are all quite basic and can be applied easily. Presented here are the four Boolean AND identities. So remember with an AND gate, both inputs must be true or one for the result to be true. So the first identity here says X and zero must be the same as zero. Because if we have a zero, it doesn't matter what x is, the output is never going to be one. x and one is the same as x. So if x is one, one and one is one. If x is zero, zero and one is zero. The next one says x and x is the same as x. And finally, x and not x is the same as zero. Here we are presenting you with the four Boolean OR identities. Remember, with an OR gate, only one of the inputs has to be true for the result to be true. So the first one is X OR zero is the same as X. Because if X is zero, then the output will be zero. If X is one, the output will be one. The next one is X OR one is the same as one. Because we already have an input here of one, it doesn't matter what x is, the output is always going to be one. We have x or x is the same as x, and x or not x is the same as one. Now make sure you can work through those basic rules so they do actually make logical sense to you. Again, consider the rule x and zero equals zero. This is an and rule. For the output of an AND to be true, both inputs need to be true. So regardless of the value of X, the output must be false or zero as the other input in this expression is false or zero. And that is why we can say X and zero is zero. Now don't forget, X is just a placeholder. It could be any variable. And also the variables could be swapped and this rule would still work. Let's have a look at another one. Let's consider the rule x plus one equals x. Once again, this is an AND rule, so both inputs have to be true for the output to be true. The rule states that one input is already true. So the output now has to match or be the same as the second input. In other words, if x is false, then the output will be false. If x is one, the output will be one. And again, x is just a placeholder. It could be any variable, and also the variables could be swapped and the rule would still work. Okay, next let's take a look at De Morgan's law. 
De Morgan's law is a way of simplifying Boolean expressions by inverting all the variables, changing and to ors, and vice versa, and then inverting the whole expression. Essentially, De Morgan's law states either logical function and or or may be replaced by the other given certain changes to the expression. Using this law allows statements to be simplified so they can only use NAND or NOR gates, and this results in simpler logic circuits, which in turn makes it easier to build microprocessors. As an example, solid state drives are made up of only NAND gates. There are two versions of this law. We have De Morgan's first law, not A and B, is the same as not A or not B. If we draw the logic diagrams and the associated truth tables for these Boolean expressions, we can prove that the same set of inputs A and B results in the same output X. We also have De Morgan's second law. This is inverting ors to and. So it says not A or B is the same as not A and not B. And again, the logic diagrams and truth tables prove that these expressions are logically equivalent. Let's look at the steps for successfully applying De Morgan's law to turn not A or B into not A and not B. Remember, you can only apply this rule to one operator at a time. So step one, we change OR to AND, or vice versa. Step two, we not the terms on either side of the operator. Step three, we not everything that has changed. At first, it might appear that applying these steps has made the situation worse, not better. However, we can now apply double negation. This rule that states that two knots cancel each other out. For example, not zero equals one, not not zero equals zero. Finally, we simply remove the unnecessary brackets. So by following these three steps, we have an expression that logically behaves exactly the same way, but now we're using AND gates instead of OR. We can, of course, perform this transformation in reverse by following the same steps. Change OR to AND, not the terms on either side of the operator, not everything that's changed, and apply the rule of double negation. Let's use what we've learned to simplify the following expression. So we've got x equals not, not a and not b, or b. Remember, we can only apply De Morgan's law to one operator at a time, either the and or the or. In this case, we'll convert the and operator into an or. So we're applying De Morgan's law to the part of the expression shown here in green. Why this part? Well, simply because it has more not operators surrounding it, and De Morgan's law might provide us with a way to get rid of some. We not the terms on either side of the operator. We then not everything that has been changed. We're done with De Morgan's law, and now our expressions only contain ors. Having done so, we can easily spot other areas to simplify. Let's start by removing all that double negation. We can now apply a new rule, the rule of association. This rule allows us to remove brackets from an expression and regroup variables. The following three expressions, for example, are all logically equivalent. A plus B plus C, A plus B plus C, or A plus B plus C. We've got brackets in the first two, but all three expressions are the same. It's the same as saying the following. Craig and his friend James and Tom are coming to the party. James and Tom 
and their friend Craig are coming to the party. Craig, James and Tom are coming to the party. Essentially, everyone's coming to the party. They all mean exactly the same thing. Finally, we can use one of the general all rules we covered at the start of the video. X plus X equals X. Or to put it another way, X or X must equal the value of X. We can apply this rule to B plus B and simplify it down to just a single B. We've simplified the original Boolean expression at the top of the screen down to X equals A or B. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is De Morgan's law and how could it be used to simplify Boolean expressions? OK, pens down now, we're going to go beyond the spec. So while discussing De Morgan's law, we also touched on two other rules you need to know about, double negation and association. We are going to recap these two rules in isolation, along with distribution and commutation. So we'll start with double negation. This means if you reverse something twice, you end up back where you started. So not not a. It's a double negative. It means a. Now let's look at association. This rule allows us to remove brackets from an expression and regroup the variables. There are two versions of this, the or association rule and the and association rule, and they work in the same way. And this is the example we just used now in the video where we were saying a bunch of people can go to a party, but we were saying it in different ways because we were grouping people together with brackets, but essentially everyone was going to the party. So with both of these examples, you can see we're removing the brackets. The next rule is the rule of commutation. And this tells us that the order of application of two separate terms is not important. So for example, A or B is exactly the same as B or A. A and B is the same as B and A. It doesn't matter which way round we have those terms. They're the same expression. So Tom and Jane are going shopping is the same as Jane and Tom are going shopping. We then have the rule of distribution. This rule allows us to effectively multiply or factor out an expression. And again, there are two versions of this, the or and the and version, which work in the same way. So here we have A or B and C. We can multiply that out into two sets of brackets and say A and B or A and C. With the and rule, we have A or B and C. And again, we can factorize that out to say A or B and A or C. Let's look at a real life analogy. We're taking the phrase, you can choose one main course and either a starter or dessert, to say, you can choose one main and one starter or one main and one dessert. It's the same thing. And finally, the rule of absorption. Where the rule applies, the second term inside the brackets can be eliminated and absorbed by the term outside the brackets. And again, there's an or and an and version. To apply this rule, the operators inside and outside the brackets must be different, and the term outside the brackets must also be inside the brackets. So let's look at the or version of the absorption rule there. We've got a or a and B. So the operator inside and outside the brackets must be different. Well, they are. We've got an and inside and an or outside. And the term outside the brackets must also be inside the brackets. We have an A outside and an A inside. Both rules have been met. We can apply the rule of absorption and that entire expression can be simplified down to just A. And we can see a very similar thing on the right with the and version of the absorption rule. 